The American people and American families, the Congress and President Biden have already done a lot to help us to stand up to the enemy and protect millions of Ukrainians. We are grateful, really grateful that the United States stands with us in this fight for our shared values of human life and independence. You help us, and your help, help is very strong. While Russia kills, America saves. But unfortunately, the war is not over. The terror continues. And I appeal to all of you on behalf of those who were killed, on behalf of those people who lost their arms and legs, on behalf of those who are still alive and well, and those who wait for their families to come back from the front. I'm asking for something uh, now I would never want to ask. I am asking for weapons. Weapons that would not be used to wage a war on somebody else's land, but to protect one's home and the right to wake up alive in that home. This is Lisa. I met this girl before Christmas when we were preparing greetings of Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas for children. I remember her just like she is here, a cheerful, playful little rascal. The other video was uh, made by Lisa's mother, whose name is Irina, when she took her children, her child to uh, school. And she asked her, where are we going, sweetie? The daughter calls the names of her favorite teacher. Lisa was only four years old. She is no longer with us. Here is the stroller of Lisa's. On July 14th, Lisa was killed. We want every father and every mother to be able to tell their child, go to sleep peacefully. There will be no more air strikes, no more missile strikes. Is this too much to wish for? <laughs>